Now, it would be only appropriate to have the final presentation to be on hospitality because we are moments away from having a Campari and soda out looking out over the Perez Yacht Club. So keep that vision in your mind. And would you please welcome Ali Kufazi. He's responsible for the property tour on Friday, for the lovely event on Thursday. He's been a great friend of the firm. Ali, thank you so much for sharing a vision of your firm. Thank you so much. So before I start, I just wanted to take a moment, like the past couple of days, I met you all guys, what a beautiful people, and I wanted to give a kudos to actually to Dr. Julie to gather all these amazing people from all around the world. It's got some power, it flew you all guys, so let's give it up for Yay. Julie. That she didn't even hear me, she was talking to Mamad. <laughs> I was just giving you a kudos that you gather all these beautiful people from all around the world and made this beautiful summit in here. So, guys, I'm not gonna, um, I know you had a long day. I'm not gonna go through numbers and, you know, deep finance, EBITDA, market cap, and all that. I just prepared a very brief showcase from our product in here. I hope it's interesting for you guys, and this is something that you would use it also in your daily, day and night out, vacations and all that. So we are a startup based in Greece, and the last week we actually expanded to the UAE, that's a new market for us. And we are looking for the upcoming expansions to uh, France and the United States, starting from Florida. The name of the product is The List, it's a mobile app, you are a B2, B2B2C platform for online reservations at restaurants, nightclubs, beach bars, live shows, and we are adding also some additional services such as luxury yacht, charters, um, accommodations, transportation, so we are transferred into a full pocket concierge for your day and night out. Now, hospitality is part of our life, it's a very massive market, but it's Phenomenal how this impressive market had stayed outdated. I mean, if you consider the digital transformation, everything is happening through the mobile app. Just let's give some examples, some easy examples. Back in the days, we used to call the restaurants to order a pizza or, you know, call it a hire a taxi cab or things like that. Now, very easily, you know, we are just launching on our couch, having, you know, like this delivery mobile apps. We are going through them and making our orders, right? You're going through different options, this restaurant or the other one. Or, of course, it's way easier when you hire a taxi through Uber or any other, you know, taxi app just by going to the streets, you know, trying to find some or calling. The same thing, but the fun, funny enough, hospitality has stated outdated. I mean, we still, when we, when we wanna go out for a dining or party or book a summit or something, we still do what our grandparents, they used to do. We are picking up the phone, calling the restaurant, trying to book a table, communication is a big concern, budgeting is a concern, and again, you are not receiving the table that you wanna get, right? And um, that's fine in your own city. You might have some connections, you might know some people, some promoters to help you out with it, but the real problem starts when you are going on vacation, when you are visiting a new place, let's say, perfect example is right here in front of me. You guys all flew from all around the world. Now let's say you are going to Santorini Island or Mykonos Island, all right? I'll tell you, good luck with booking a table or something in, let's say, Scorpios or Namos or Beef Bar or Koya or whatever, right? So we are in partnership. This is a, just a brief showcase about the app. We are in partnership with over 1,500 high brands in Greece and uh, UAE. Beef Bar, Ling Ling, Nobu, um, uh, Nikki Beach, Matsuisa, Koya, Hakasan, and many others. And um, to make a reservation, it's, uh, these are the locations that currently we are in. To make a reservation, it's um, easy three taps, three steps. So you have a profile of a nightclub or restaurant, whatever you wanna go. You tap on reserve, you see their, uh, you know, their descriptions, hours, a video that how it feels like, the map, you're also integrated with Uber to come pick you up. And um, here it is, here is the fun feature that we have, that we actually have floor plan where you can select your exact table or somebody. And um, for, let's, for, for instance, let's say in here, thank you, I appreciate it. You see, this is one of the biggest problem. You, you're calling these restaurants or nightclubs to book a table. So when you're calling them, there's a dark thing. They don't know who is calling, 
What is your budget? If you are a lawyer, if you are a doctor, if you are a tourist, they don't know who you are. And from the other hand, you are not going to give a, a you know, full brief um, bio of yourself. This is me and I want blah, 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 right? And um, of course, you can see the, the, the prices. For, for instance, in here, just as an example, I booked a table in the backstage, which is like 750 euros of minimum spend. Maybe that's too much. I'm going to, let's say, I, I can change different tables until I find the right price for me. This is an example for the beach bars. Now, booking a table in the restaurants might be much, way easier than booking a table at the nightclub. Good luck with that. Because at least with the restaurant, you can do some communication, right? Nightclubs, I'll tell you, like, um, within the last two days, most of you were asking me, like, um, hey, tell me a good beach bar here in Athens. I want a party. Juan is not here from South Africa. He just left a couple of hours ago. He had to catch a flight. He was asking me for some parties, or Charles from Swiss, he was asking for that. And, um, of course, I introduced them to my app, and they did all their bookings hassle-free. Because, again, I said with restaurants, it's way easier to book a table. But for nightclubs, you need to know promoters. Right? Because if you call them, if you Google them, try to find their number, nobody is picking up the phone because they're sleeping. All right? They're waking up like 8 p.m., getting ready, go to the club, and then they go back to sleep like 7, 8 a.m., they close up the store and all that. So let's give another example. Let's say you're at the office. It's your birthday. You're working, right? And you want to invite your guests, your family, whatever, to X nightclub tonight. What are you going to do? Are you going to wait until 10 p.m. until they can pick up your phone? And most probably, you're not going to get the table because they're already sold out. And what are you going to do? You're going to keep your guests on hold. Hey, I'm going to confirm with you the location at 10 p.m.? No. Of course not, right? So easily you go. And again, the other problem is the, the, the beach bars, the sun beds, right? So funny enough, like we are all working during out the week, during out the years, days, we are going through so much hassles, family, relations, government, you know, you name it. But when comes the weekend, we are going to a, any beach, you want to have fun. You are going for relaxation. You don't want to go, you know, to, oh, I need to wake up again 9 a.m. just to get to Namos to have a sunbed. Otherwise, it's sold out. It's totally sold out. Um, um, I mean, and then it's 40 degrees. It's an island, or even, let's say here in Bulyagmeni, go at 11 uh, a.m. to Astir Beach. You're not, going, you're not going to get a sunbed, right? So with the list, you can easily budget your whole day and night out, and even your whole vacation. Because now when you're going to vacation, what are you doing? You book your, let's say, airline ticket, right? You go to booking.com or Airbnb, you get your hotels or accommodation, but here you are, you arrive to the island, or any other city that you're, let's say, Dubai, you arrive there, and these are all these concerts. Okay, I want to go out. I want to go for a dinner. I want to go for a party. I want to go, you know, I have a business meeting. I have a date. It's Valentine's Day, Christmas. You name it, right? So you don't want to go through all that hassles or go to the traditional way, go to your hotel reception or just Google Map or, you know, TripAdvisor, which are not really helpful. You can even try it right now in Athens. Just go to Google, type, let's say, the top 10 restaurants in Athens. You're not going to find... How many Greeks do we have in here? Perfect. So you're not going to find, you know very well in Athens we have like touristic restaurants and then we have the local places, right? So personally I feel bad for the travelers coming to Athens because there are always like a like couple of days around Acropolis. They go to some tavernas, not really good quality of food, high prices and they're like, I saw Athens and they go to islands. No, you didn't see nothing. You need to, yeah, seriously, you need to know where to go for brunch, where to go for a cocktail, when is the sunset, and all that, right? So that's why the app makes you feel like a local, all right? And um, even last year, we had some of the biggest events of Mykonos on our app, which was, imp I mean, we haven't even closed the second year of operation. By August, we are going to close our second year. And we have all these amazing places joining our, our uh, you know, our platform, and they keep start sending us email, calling, like, what is the price? How can we join? Blah blah blah. Because we actually solve the pain points of the industry. Now, if I wanna, um, let's say, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna name three main problems: business side and the user side. The business side, the venues they are all suffering from low spenders. Okay, during the peak days, their tables might be occupied by, you know some low spenders, some, let's say some, I don't know, beautiful girls or some teenagers, you know, they're just getting the table, getting a, let's say, Aperol spritz, small salad, and just sitting there for hours just posting Instagram story. And now put yourself in the shoe of the restaurant owner, right? The table is blocked, 
while the big spenders they are calling to book a table and they're like, sorry, we are sold out. So they are actually losing in revenue, right? So we have the minimum spend policy that we help them with that to actually generate more revenue. And then they are suffering from cancellations and no shows daily. Just imagine you are all business owners. Imagine you are sending orders some last minute, it get canceled or you know, from your partners, you don't get paid. And of course, identity is one of the biggest problem. We also have an identity program that our users, they create and build their profile for every one euro or dollar that they spend, all right? So what does that mean? Um, let's say you might be a well-known person here in Athens. You might have a, you know, connections going here and there, you know, some of the owners, some of the managers. But let's say you flew to Miami or Dubai. Nobody knows you. You are a Mr. Tourist there, right? So you're going to go through your connections traditional way, right? Calling, trying to find, or most probably you are going to post on your Facebook or Instagram a story, hey, who's in Dubai? I'm here, blah, 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 right? But you don't do that when you want to book an airline ticket. You don't do that when you want to book a hotel. You don't call your friends, hey, I'm coming to Dubai. Do you have some villas for me to book? No, because it's not even helpful. You go to Airbnb, you have all the places and all, and all that, right? So it was a big achievement for us to have like big celebrities and singers like 50 Cent, Tyga, French Montana, Black Coffee, and we had many more. So when you make a bookings, this is like a boarding pass that you receive on your phone. You can add it to your calendar, get direction call, or even share it with your friends and invite them directly to your table. This is our other product. It's a, it's a CRM management tool that lists partners that we provide them to the businesses. The numbers are live. I just took a screenshot for you guys this morning. This is our current year numbers. We have over 1,200 high brand venues on our app. We have over 26,000 active users, 5,517 confirmed reservations so far, and the small revenue that we did, which I do believe for our you know, one and a half year startup, bootstrapping, and all the numbers are organically. We haven't spent a dime on marketing yet. We just got viral by word of mouth and so on. These are the list of our latest reservation today. You can see the dates and the name, like Santana, Mikono, Super Paradise, Super Paradise, Sigik, Theos, the Greek guys they know in Paros, Sigik, Theos. You might know even Demi, the owner, right? And um, Nobu, Santorini, Moorings, Verde Blue, and so on. So this was a really quick and brief presentation to give you about the list and how it can help your, you know, um, day and night out, or even when you are going on vacation to budget your whole vacation. Now, there are many other things to talk about, but I know you all had a long day. I don't want to keep you boring. I don't want to, you know, walk you through numbers. And um, last thing, this is something that I was talking about. We also have luxury yacht services that at the moment you see them on our website, but we are transferring them to the app plus many other services. And then with the power of AI, we are even entering the food waste industry because this is one of the other problems of the restaurants that are losing so much money and revenue just from the amount of the food that they are throwing away. And then we are all acting like philanthropists that, hey, there are these countries or those countries that are dying from hunger while in Europe and US, just with the amount of the food that we are throwing away because they get expired, we don't consume them, we could fill the whole world and it would be no hunger on the planet. So we are solving also that with our AI tools. And again, there are so many things to talk about, but I see um, Dr. Julie already stand up going for the Q&A, so I'm done with it. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Woo. I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. Is that good or is that good? I tell you, 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 you got it. You nail it every single time. It's so impressive. One, one question, two questions. Please. We got Alex, we got Christos, and then we got Matt, and then we go for a drink. Yep. Okay, so, so what is your point of difference? Versus existing players in the market like Open Table, because we all know there are other services that allow you sure. to book tables. Yep. Sure. What's your point of difference? Sure. Good question. Thank you so much for that. Um, there are many, right? First of all, we are the only platform that we cover all the categories. Let's say Open Table is only in the restaurant industry. And again, what is the purpose of the mobile apps? If you take the mobile apps from the, from the planet, no one's gonna die. If you take Uber or Airbnb, no one's gonna die. But what is their purpose? To make people life easier. I personally tested Open Table in Italy. I had a really horrible experience. I went to the restaurant, they didn't even know about it, okay? And in our app, um, you have the floor plan to, set, to be the boss of your reservation. Maybe I want to select the table at the backstage. Maybe you want to go to the second floor or the seaside somewhere calm. While in open table, I just go select date, time, and they give me any random table. So still, it would be much better for me to go in a traditional way 
and pick up the phone, at least I can communicate. Hey, I have a birthday, or it's my daughter's birthday, or I have an anniversary, I'm going to engage my fiance, and so on, so at least I can get the table that I want, right? So this is one of the, one of the, bigger, the, the biggest differences that we have with the, you know, the competitors in the industry. And of course, again, covering all the categories, minimum spend policy, they don't have it, loyalty program, you know, paying advance, card on hold, there's so many other features. Beautiful. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, Chris Spiro, yeah. Excellent presentation. Thank, Thank you so you. much. A uh, quick question: um, Your revenue streams is it only the incentives from the restaurants and the clubs, or is it also a hidden? I would say. Look, it's wearable. We are on the subscription model. Okay. Okay. And so then it's I will pay a subscription to come in, right? As a user, you don't pay nothing. Ah, that's what I'm saying. Just okay, the business side, mm -hmm. right? For users, it's totally free to download, to book, and all that. The only thing, the way that we Eliminate the cancellations and no show you need to provide your credit card. Now it depends on the venue. For instance, maybe you want to go to Scorpios Mykonos, right? We have it on the app. You don't pay anything, depending on the season though, it might be card on hold. You just provide your card number. As a deposit, yes. In yeah. case you don't show or last minute cancellation, you might lose, let's say, 50 euros per person as a penalty, right? And this has been said by the venue, not by us. So that's it. As a user, you don't pay anything, but business side, we have subscriptions, commission-based model, and also we are providing them digital marketing services, so that's another channel of revenue for us. Okay, okay I understand. And one more, I can understand the success so far. So far. I can see you know Greece but very good. Still very new, but you know Greece very good, you know Dubai very good. Thing, yeah. So how do you grow from now? Because that's... Oh, that Greece was, and Dubai, um, I can feel that you know. That, 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 that was a pain in the butt. Heart, right? <laughs> grow, you know, but how do you grow in going into Miami, in going into Ibiza tomorrow, yeah. going somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. What's your plan? So, so we have some plan. also great partnership with some of the you know biggest players in the industry. For example, lately I'm really proud to announce we have become the partner of Google Reserve. Okay, so that's huge for us. And also um, we have made partnership with one of the biggest management system in the industry. And of course, the rest is like through our sales team, just expanding through our own networking and connection through expanding to these industries, you know? But as I said, like we started the journey from Athens and then we are having all these big players and the venues. I mean, you see the names like in Arab, it's like crazy. I give you a simple example, right? We were not even waiting for it because this is our beta, right? At the moment we are working on the version one. So in our, in our if you put yourself in our shoe, we just made this to gather feedback from the market and then we see it's like booming. Just to give you an example, it's like let's say you make a small stadium like for soccer, right? For you and your family and your friends just to play around back in your yard, right? And then you see like, FIFA is calling you, hey, we want to, you know, happen the um, final of the Champions League in your place, and Real Madrid is calling you, and Bayern Munich is calling you, and Barcelona is calling you, and you're like, oh, what's happening? You know, I just made this for my kids to play in our backyard, so we are not even ready yet, you know, we have to build a stadium for the spectators, and so on. So, yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, go ahead. Tony, please. please. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to ask you on the minimum, uh, minimum spending policy. Is that uh, your policy, the list policy? Or the venues, the venues. We have many restaurants that they don't even set the minimum spend. All right? So Just a very quick question. <laughs> how, how guaranteed is the reservation? The, 100%. The table specific. 100%, 100%. Because we have a strong agreement with every venue, because we know exactly what's going on in the industry, you know. Every restaurant or nightclub zone is a chaos with their management system. I mean, that's what I said. They have a stated outdated. They are not civilized yet, okay? The nightlife is, there is no democracy in the nightlife, all right? So, no, seriously, it's like dictatorship. I mean, if you go to any club or restaurant, you see still they are writing the name of the reservations on a paper with a pen. They, 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 there is a host holding a list. Yeah. Actually, okay. holding the list, you know, so that's okay. that's how the name came up. Yeah. Okay, I think I, Matt, you've got a question, please. Yeah, yeah? Uh, actually, uh, a comment first of all, Ali. Uh, great presentation. Thank I you. really love your energy. Yeah, Thank so you. keep that going. Um, just one comment. Uh, I'm a sales coach. I can't sure. help it. Um, what uh, what we see in Dubai a lot, because with the yacht charters, I think you're going to add this to Dubai as well, right? Sure. Um, that also from a, from a customer's perspective, there's a lot of frustration because very often these yacht charters, you know how it works. Probably they book them and they pay them cash on the day. And then the yacht charter company decides, oh, actually, you know, we're going to go on with that party because they're going to pay more. And they literally leave people standing in a party of 16, 20 people on the dock because they took some other party with 40 people. And yeah, their whole yeah, I, evening. I, I would call that mismanagement. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And the whole, the whole evening's ruined. So as an additional <laughs> selling point also to, to, to customers, mm -hmm. uh, this, this is a, a, a big you know, advantage. Yeah. If they prepay and everything's booked and there's no, no fiddling yeah. around. But look, look, funny enough now, 
I mean, the YAS, we were not even planning to add the YAS. We made the app only for, that's why you see the YAS on our website. They are not even on the app yet, right? Yeah. So when we started the journey, we got like viral, and then so many yachting companies, and even hotels and villas. Like, Julia, I didn't know there are so many villas that are offline in Greece. I met them, I, I mean, I, I learned this through the journey of the list. I thought all the villas are on Airbnb and things like that. But there's so many, like, I'm talking about Escobar villas, okay? Like from Corfu Island, Paros, Mykonos, Santorini, you name them, that they reach out to us, they're like, please, we want to add our villa to your platform, and we are not in any other platform. Yeah. And then um, hotels, they keep sending us. Um, of some, you know, private jet companies, helicopters. And lately, we even received some emails from some hair salons that they were like, if you ever consider to add a hair salon, please add mine, and, you know, I'm going to give you, know, you this much commission and so Ella, on. Ella, you know what you have? You got gravitational pull. <laughs> you pull people in. You pull people in. You did me, and I really appreciate you coming here. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank All you right? so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. You've been helpful. You've been really great helping us so much.